All right, so I wanted to make a uh, an even simpler tutorial on how to mod Boneworks because, uh, well, a lot of people found my last one very helpful, um, and they said that it was a lot more simpler than the other tutorials as intended. Um, I just as I, f I discovered this method recently, and uh, I wanted to to make a video and demonstrate it. So the first thing that you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to go to your browser and then the little search bar. You're gonna just search up Boneworks. Boneworks. Dot Thunderstore. Dot IO. Then you will see the Boneworks Thunderstore page. So ignore all this. You, if you want any of these, you'll you'll be able to do it later. You're gonna want to click we, the thing that says we recommend using the Thunderstore Mod Manager. Click that link. And then click this uh, download right here. Then over here, over here, over over uh, right here, you want to click the arrow. You want to click open. And then you want to click yes, like to you know to allow this to make changes. Um, and then you will see this thing over here. All right, you you can minus that right there. And then go to your Windows your uh, your start button. Then open Thunderstorm Mod Manager. Then in the task bar, you want to right click and then pin that to your task bar. I already had a shortcut, but uh, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'll do it again. So there will be like a couple games here. There's not that many games. Um, so you just want to find, you know, scroll until you find Boneworks. I have it pinned, so to pin a game, you just you uh, hover over it and then you uh, click the little star button. So over when you find Boneworks, you want to click Select Game. And then choose your platform. It's the same thing for each platform. Uh, obviously, like I said, I recommend Steam for to play Boneworks on, but both are this both are the same. I wouldn't worry about that right now. So just click your platform. I have Steam, so Steam. Uh, and then I have multiple profiles, uh, but you'll probably see a profile that's just called Default. Select that, and then when you're on this page. Uh, where it says you don't have any mods installed, click on this tab, or you can obviously click here, and here's all all the mods and everything. So you're gonna obviously want to install Melon Loader, which is so. So click on it, click download, and click download with dependencies, and then that's it. You have Melon Loader, and then you want to obviously do download mod that's not mod. And then there you go, you have it. And now you can basically install whatever you want. Now, if you want like player models or custom maps or like grenades or something like that, I recommend manually installing those as some uh, some of those things like like some custom so like some player models and some uh, custom maps they don't. Uh, so when 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 you install something, it's supposed to automatically install the uh, the mod that you need to run it. So like if if you didn't have Mel Mode or a mod that's not mod, and you just installed one of these, it would automatically install mod, mod that's not mod and Mel Mode along with along with it. But the uh, the author of the uh, of the of the mod has to manually set that. Uh, so like if they need like the player models, if, if they're uploading like a player model, if they want it to automatically install on like the the, the mod manager. It'll. The, the, they have to. I think they have to manually set it as as the dependency mod. But some people don't do that. So what I recommend is just searching up custom maps if you want custom maps. Uh, and then obviously hovering over, uh, uh, just click it, and then click download. And then download with dependencies. It'll automatically install the latest version. And then player models. Player models. Okay, yeah. So when you find it, just search up like player. You'll probably have to scroll down a little bit. So yeah, find player models by Marinara. Click it, download, and then download with dependencies. And then in your on, and then you're in in your installed section, you'll have Mel Loader, Mod that's not Mod, Custom Maps, and Player Models. Then if you want grenades, you'll just want to search up grenades and buy uh, this person. You want to click download, obviously download with dependencies. I think you get the idea. Now this automatically comes with a few grenades, but if you want more grenades, you just search up. 
Yeah, something like that. And then there's a couple of grenades here. Uh, this one, but this mod comes with some grenades. So now, basically after that, you can install whatever you want. So if you want like a custom map, you can install a custom map. No, no hassle. You don't have to manually put it into a, into a folder or anything. But however, the Thunderstorm mod manager, it only a lot like so. When you search for a mod here, you're only gonna find mods that are on Thunderstorm. So if you want mods that are not on Thunderstorm, you will have to do a little bit of like work. But it is very, it is still very simple. So you're gonna want to go down here to settings. And then you wanna, and then you're gonna wanna click browse data folder. So in here, when you open up the file explorer, uh, it'll it'll automatically open it up in the file explorer. You're gonna wanna find Bonework. So if you have like any other any other games that you're they are they are managing mods for, um, it'll show them here. I don't know why it's showing these two. I don't have I'm not managing mods for these two. But yeah, you're gonna wanna click Boneworks. Double click it. Then you want to click profiles and then the one that you're using, which is probably most likely named default. And then uh, that's it. You can find your mod. So you can manually drag and drop a mod into here that isn't on Thunderstore. Um, then your user data. Uh, it, when you launch the game, it will. So w when you install a player model or like a custom app, it'll automatically create a custom apps folder. So. If you want like a custom app, you'd have to you'd have to just install a custom app, and it would make the folder already. So like, I'll show you. So about this custom map, I just click download, download with dependencies. It'll take a little bit because the folder is because it needs to like do you know a bunch of extra things. And also, I think it's just a pretty big map too. Some some of them will take longer depending on the file size. So once it gets to 100, then you go to installed, you'll see it here. And then you'll see under user data, you'll see the custom apps folder. You can manually do it. I don't see why you would want to. So then the same thing with the uh, custom items and the player models. So if I want like these, this Glock 19 uh, thing right here, I do it install it, to download the dependencies. It'll be here, and then you'll also see your custom items folder. And here you'll be able to to drag and drop a mod that is not on on a Thunderstore. So I'll show you a little example of that. So look. So right here you'll want to drag you want to drag the mod, the uh, custom item or whatever it is that you want and, dra and drop it into the well yeah, yeah, and drag and drag it into the appropriate folder. So if obviously if you want like a different player model, you want to drag and drop that into your player models folder. Which if you install a player model, you want this player model. There you go. You'll see the player model folder. So that's it. It's the simplest way that you can install Boneworks mods. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please leave a like. It really helps. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, if you if you like if you enjoyed, if you found it helpful, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, join my Discord server. It's also it'll be linked in the description, uh, as along with my Twitter. But I don't really I don't really use my Twitter that much. But yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. See you guys.